Hello everyone, it's me Nina and this is a sketchbook episode. So today we're going to sketch somebody and I'm going to do it in Procreate or on Procreate. Well, anyways, I'm going to use my iPad for doing that. I have never done any sketchbook episodes on my iPad, so I'm pretty excited how it's going to be. So I opened Procreate and I created a file, it's just a screen size, like a screen size canvas. And I will be using a, a coal set for this episode. Actually, I've never used uh, that brush set before, so I'm pretty excited how it's going to be. So I'm going to sketch the winner of my Easter giveaway, uh, because this beautiful girl won a sketch from me. Uh, and she asked me not to post the um, reference picture of her, so I'm not going to show it because I kind of respect her choice, guys. So uh, today we are not going to see the reference, but of course you're going to see the finished result. And I hope you trust me enough to believe that it will look like her. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I am just choosing a pencil and I'm trying to uh, sketch her first. It's going to be a very rough sketch, so I'm just marking uh, her face, I'm marking the uh, nose location, the eyes, the chin, and I'm just roughly uh, sketching up. Like, it's really roughly. But I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. When the outlines of the face are kind of there, I'm starting to uh, give it more details, meaning I'm just starting to sketch the eyes, eyebrows, nose and mouth. Um, actually, I think it already looks like the reference picture and you have to trust me on that one because you don't see anything, uh, but I do. And it does look like her already. So when my rough sketch is uh, done, I'm just creating a new layer that's going to be under the sketch layer and I'm going to lock the sketch layer. It's very important to lock your layers because it's very simple to screw everything, you know? And as I said, I'm going to use a cold brush set. I've never used that before and I'm just... Um, just picking up the brush that I think will be 
uh, suitable for the eyes. When the sketch is done, I always uh, start giving details to the eyes first because, I don't know, because I think... Uh, well, I kind of need to start from something, right? With something. So I'm starting with the eyes. And uh, this sketch is not going to be super detailed, so I'm just um, filling in the uh, iris and around the eyes, giving it a little bit uh, of a makeup, I guess. Just shading around the eyes and the eyebrows. Not giving it a lot of details, but I must say I will come back to uh, the eyes later and after the eyes I'm just moving to the nose and I'm doing it on the on another layer And after the nose, I'm working with the mouth, just uh, shading it, giving it some tiny details, like darker uh, in the mouth corners and stuff like that, really not giving it a lot of details, just a little bit, because uh, this kind of style is, you know, like a sketch, so I want it to look stylized, I want it to look artistic, and not that's neat and realistic like I always do because it's you know it's a sketch series so it kind of it's kind of stylized okay and when the mouth is also a little bit done I'm moving to the hair and I'm just filling it in with like a square brush and that's it stage I can give the face a little bit more details for example like around the nose and maybe even some hairs to the eyebrows uh, just like you know tiny details to make it look a little bit more finished and the last thing that I need to fill in is the t-shirt uh, I know that you can't see the original picture but I can and there is like a special pattern on her t-shirt and I'm kind of trying to imitate that 
and um, I found a nice scratchy uh, brush in my set. So I'm basically using that brush to imitate the pattern. And that's it. Actually, guys, I can render as much as I want. And the more I render, the more I draw, the more I give it details. It's just um, gonna look more and more neat. So basically, it's up to you where you want to stop, you know? And um, if you stop like in one hour, it will look like more complete. And if I stop right now, it will look like um, like a pretty like a pretty stylized sketch uh, with uh, charcoal. And I'm going to stop when I feel it's it's ready. And I think, guys, right now it's time to watch the time lapse of the entire sketch. So enjoy watching it. As you guys see, I always start with making a rough sketch. I'm just marking the head shape. I'm marking where the nose and eyes and mouth is going to be. And when I'm trying to give it more details, I'm always starting with the eyes. I don't know why. You kind of need to start with something, right? And later when I'm drawing, I'm just jumping around and drawing a little bit here and there and stuff like that. So this is my way of doing sketches. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if so, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next tutorials, guys. Bye!